this one began as I decided to walk into Domino's Pizza. Not because I like the food or the service, mind you, but simply because there are so many video game losers that hang out there that I like to make fun of. So I walked in, and oh yeah, all the real jerks and losers were there. We got Gleeber and Lunk, the Elementals from Wrath of Cortex, uh, the Cheetah Men, Lester the Unlikely. I mean, oh man, it was just so hilarious. So I come in and I say, hey buddies, been any good games lately? And they just looked at me, they ignored me, they started eating their pizza. So I decided to push push my luck a little. I walked up to um to Lester and I said, Hey man, how's that PS4 game you got going on? The one made of orangutan diarrhea? He just looks up and says, Leave me alone. And I say, Oh, come on. And then um just as things were just about to get funny, um, a strange man walked through the door. He had a ton of tattoos and a mullet. I mean, I recognized him because I've seen his game once before, but never had the um, audacity or courage to touch it. It was Jay Conway from Ride to Hell. He says, all right, everyone, clear out. He was obviously in a bad mood. So the, everyone, they just didn't really care. Apparently, um, I guess me making fun of him just kind of um, made them expect anything. So then he, so then he just picks up a, like a, a glass bottle, smashes it on the table in front of the elementals and says, I said clear out. But they, but then they really got offended. The Cheetah Men stood up. They, they, they just started throwing like salt shakers and stuff at him. And then Jake, he went into a huge rage. He just picked up everything, just started smashing it up. The the elementals took control over um over the cheetah men. It, oh my god, that was awesome. They, they they grew in size, and then uh, the water elemental started shooting things at Jake. He matched the the rhythm perfectly of, out of anyone I've ever seen. He like smashes them into the ground. He throws them into the others. He picks up a water bottle from the refrigerator. I'm kidding. He's not kidding. He smashes through the refrigerator, picks up a water bottle, pours it on the fire, dude. And then, from there, um, Gleaver and Lunk stack on top of one another. They start fighting their, their little wimpish... <laughs> so, then Jay kicks Lunk off of Gleaver and then jumps, stomps on both of them, spreading a bunch of calamari entrails all over the place. And, th and then... Oh my god. Oh my god. So then, when things finally settled, Lester tried to, tried to punch him, but to no avail. He grabbed Lester by his neck and threw him into the wall. And then from there, I mean, I, I was just sitting down at the um, at, at one of the tables, just enjoying the whole show. And from there, a, stra a strange guy from a, from the pizza um, prep room came out and says, "Oi, you're gonna have to clean that up." And then Jake says, "Do I look like I'm gonna clean anything up? Now what you're gonna do is that you're gonna get me a large cheese pizza and a beer." And then he goes, "You don't sell beer, sir." And then Jake looks at um, Lester, who just picked him up, himself up from the wall, goes, hey, toothpick, you're getting me a beer. He goes, but I'm underage. And then Jake says, I said get me a, to a stupid beer. And of course, Lester runs out, and then um, the, the pizza man, you know, a couple minutes later, just makes a pizza and sits down with Jake at one of the um, one of the tables and says, so, what's the problem? I figured I might as well get involved too. So I stood up, I moved to their table, and I said, hey guys. And then I, I said, I'm the M crew dude. Who's everyone else here? And then Jake says, well, I'm Jake Conway. Maybe you've heard of me, but most haven't. And then um, the pizza man says, my name's Domino. And I said, well, nice to meet you guys. What are we going to do here? What are we talking about? And then, um, and then Jake says, well, I'll tell you, but I need a beer first. As soon as he said that, Lester walked back in and then handed him his, um, his Heineken. He goes, well, I didn't want a Heineken, but who cares anyway? So then Lester ran out, ran out terrified. So then, um, Jake continued to speak. Can you imagine what it must feel like to be labeled the all-time worst video game of 2013? And then, um, Domino says, no, but a lot of people walk in here do. And then I said, well, I've seen a lot of real losers here today. Well, the guys that you just beat up were pretty stupid. But thanks, you definitely did a good inspiration. And then Jake looks at me and says, hey, aren't you that guy from the internet? said, oh, so you have heard of me. And he goes, yeah, I noticed that you haven't really said anything about me. You haven't really haven't really said much about what good I'm doing. I said, what good are you doing? And he says, well, if I ever did plan a sequel, well, what would you want it to look like? And I said, well, how am I supposed to know? Why, why don't you just ask the fans what they want to see? He goes, you think I have fans? And I said to him, well, you never know. Just go, just go out to the forums and see, or game stuff for that matter, and just see who wants to... Um, participate in the creation of a new sequel if that be the case. And he says, I don't think so. Not after the thrashing that Angry Joe gave. 
or any of the other critics for that matter. So, um, Domino says, so, where did you get off in this little rut? And he says, well, I used to be in the war as a soldier, and from there when I got home, my younger brother, Mikey, got killed by some bikers. Ever since then, I've been seeking retribution, not of... And since then, I realize it's been a plague, this fight for revenge. Once you finally achieve it, there's nothing left. What are you going to do from there? You're just going to wallow in your mistakes. And that's kind of what I'm doing right now. He took another swing of his beer. I got up and got myself a Mountain Dew. Yeah, I, I actually went through the, reached my hand through the hole that Jake had created. I didn't feel like opening the, the door anymore. <laughs> so then he, um, he just says t to me, So, would I deserve a spot on a top ten list of good games? And I said, well, your game definitely does have a lot of um, glitches and problems. And he, he says, yeah, but what if it fixed that? And then um, Domino says, I heard it had a lot of um, sexuality problems and um, in insults against women. And he goes, he goes, well, so what? And I said, well, so what? Don't you think that's a little offensive? And he goes, a little offensive? <sighs> Look. Haven't you ever played Grand Theft Auto? And I said, well, yeah, that's one of the greatest games out there. And he goes, and how much do they sexualize women? And I said, a lot. And he goes, exactly. So, I mean, what's the big deal? It's like, when they do it, they're considered amazing. And when we do it, we're considered the devil. And I said to him, well, it all depends on how well you pull it off. If you got good gameplay behind it, and, um, and a lot of distractions that distract from those flaws, then people will appreciate it more. I mean... Some other, I mean, other games do it fantastic. And then he, um, he just kind of sulks and says, Whew. You know, if I was to ever come back, I would love just once to have a little bit of appreciation. As we all, as we all sat down, our pizza came. We had a we had a bunch of pizza. And, and from, and I have to say, I mean, the, the pizza there's not very good. Just word to the wise. So then, we all finished up. Jake, Jake says, I don't know where I'm going now. I'm just going to hit the open road. And I said, well, whatever, whatever you do there, Jake, just think about what I said and take notice of what other successful games have done. And he goes, well, that is to say if I can. I don't think I'll get a second chance, but thanks for the advice. As soon as he walked out, um, Domino just looked at me and he says, I really don't think he's getting another chance. So then, Jake got on his motorcycle. He um he was backing out of the parking lot, but another car just like pulled forward, and he, um his back wheel bumped the the front car's bumper, and all of a sudden he goes, no no no! His bike just involuntarily drives off into a fence and explodes. And I was like, what was that? And then, um Domino says, I've seen a lot of bad glitches in my time, but that is by far the worst. No, excuse me. I gotta go call the fire department before we get another lawsuit. We can't deal with that. Um, about a week later, I read in the newspaper that a lawsuit was actually fi filed um, from all the um, prostitutes that Jake was with. Apparently those women are good for two things in that game. The other being <laughs> financial burdens. <laughs> Come on, calm down. It was a joke, okay? I know that was sexist, but can't be any more sexist than what the game was doing. So that Domino's Pizza restaurant went out of business. From what I heard, Domino, he, he's trying to find a new job, but I wish him the best of luck in that. In the end, it's all about the friends you make and the pizza you make. But it's hard to make those friends you're trying to make when the pizza you make tends to make the friends you're trying to make throw up. And that's the truth of the matter. While I'm here, I just want to give a shout out to Men with one arm and two guns. You're awesome. And thank you for allowing me to, um, to use your references in the video. I mean, if you haven't heard of him, he pretty much does, like, some of the similar things that I do, is just, um, um, talking about, um, video game events in front of the camera. I mean, if that's your thing, then you should really go check him out. And he also does a lot of, um, funny spoofs, too. So, um, so yeah, if you want to check that out, I'll, um, he's man with one arm and two guns. You won't, I don't think you'll regret it. Check him out. Alright, take care, and thanks again, buddy.